For years now, TikTok has been threatened with bans around the world due to privacy concerns regarding ByteDance, the parent company to both TikTok and CapCut. However, this potential ban has seen a significant recent development. The House of Representatives has approved a bill requiring TikTok to be sold to an American company or be banned in the US. Now it only has to pass in the Senate and be signed into law by President Joe Biden, who has made it clear that he will sign the bill into law if it passes through Congress. Should ByteDance decide not to sell to an American company, it is very possible that its products will be banned in the US, including TikTok and CapCut, the video editing software that links to TikTok. Today, we're going to go through TikTok and CapCut's most popular tools and show you alternative apps that can help you accomplish making videos with similar tools, so you can be ready in case ByteDance apocalypse really does begin. So first, TikTok could be banned, but what does that have to do with CapCut? Well, CapCut is one of the most popular video editing platforms around. It is the third most downloaded app in the photo and video category on the App Store, but it is also owned by ByteDance. ByteDance has been the source of scrutiny because of privacy concerns about what it is doing with data of American citizens. If TikTok is banned, it is not a stretch to believe that all of ByteDance's apps could be banned. So what are the risks here? Well, relying on one platform for anything, social media creation, editing, is always a risk. So if TikTok or CapCut come under scrutiny and get banned, then the creators who only know how to create on those platforms are gonna have a much harder time creating content and editing. And there are editors which having knowledge of can be of more widespread use for all types of video editing and creation needs. So let's go through CapCut's most popular features, and I will show you an alternative editor called Kapwing that can do many of the same things and more. A look into CapCut. If you take a look inside the CapCut app, they have a bunch of their popular AI tools listed at the top above the new project button. Here we can say things like script to video, which generates a script based on your inputs, and then uses stock footage to create a video for you based on the script. You also have text to image, which creates an image based off a text prompt, so you can use that in your video. Also, auto captions, which will embed captions onto the video based on the transcript. Most of these tools are not specific to CapCut. There are many editors that can do this. So today I'm gonna to show you how Kapwing can do all of these things with a Kapwing tutorial speedrun. For those first two tools I mentioned in CapCut, we're gonna to go to Kapwing AI tools. Simply go to the light bulb icon at the top left-hand corner of the editor and select script to video. And there you're gonna type in what you want to say in your script and it will create that video just like it did in CapCut. You can also go down to create image and again, type in what you need and it will create an image just like it does in CapCut. It's also worth mentioning the other incredible options here, like there's a meme generator, there are documents or articles to videos, there's incredible, incredible tools here in Kapwing AI. Now, for auto captions, you can click on any video that you have uploaded into the Kapwing editor and go to the subtitle tab on the left-hand side. Then click auto subtitles, select your language, and click auto subtitle again. It will get to work automatically creating your captions just like in CapCut. And Kapwing even has a repurpose studio where you can make five to 10 short form videos from a long form video automatically. From your workspace, click repurpose content, then upload your long form video. It will create short clips that you can immediately download to post, or you can go in and you can edit further to your liking. This is a super amazing tool if you have a podcast or you make long form YouTube videos or you do interviews and you want to promote the long form content with short form clips. Kapwing also gives you a lot of control over manually editing your content. In your editor, you can split by clicking anywhere on the timeline and then clicking split. You can trim with transcript by going to the transcript tab and just taking out parts you don't want by highlighting them and then deleting which will automatically cut those parts out of the video. And you can add B-roll and images by clicking on the video or images tabs and clicking and finding something you like and that will automatically add it in. You can also add text by going to the text tab and clicking on add text, then typing in whatever you want. 
You guys, the options are endless. And by diversifying the way that you know how to use these certain tools, use these certain editing techniques, you are ready in case TikTok or CapCut are no longer available to you. Thank you for watching. Make sure you are subscribed for more tips on how to level up your content and happy editing.